Hi, let's talk tomatoes. And in this conversation, we're only going to talk, I may hit a couple things toward the end, but let's talk determinate and indeterminate because if you're purchasing any type of seed and or garden plant, you're going to want to decide what you want. And a lot of people, when especially when they're virgins and to gardening and they don't know the difference and they don't know what that means, they didn't do their homework or maybe they just kind of accidentally didn't notice that in some of the wordage and they just keep rushing right on through it. Now, um, I have put, I'm not picking on the celebrity hybrid here, but that one says determinant, where the arrow is. Um, also, if you're not new to gardening and you're having pest problems or wilt or virus problems, a lot of the seed catalogs and websites will have a little key down here. And if you look real close, there'll be a V or a P or a T or whatever in the seed uh, with the seed. And then you'd be able to go back and look at the, the little thing here. But we're not even going to take a lot of time on that. If you're not a virgin to gardening, but you're having uh, pests, viruses, mold, uh, whatever, you can actually go and look at that or talk to someone who's done gardening before, and maybe they'll help you choose a different, better plant next year to plant that will help solve some of that problem. Now, let's just talk about determinate and indeterminate. I want you to, unless you want an early season tomato, and then you've planted a late season tomato as well for maturity uh, because you're going to do more canning or whatever. That's okay. So I want you to go ahead and make sure that if you're picking a determinate tomato that you understand that that's only going to give you X amount of fruit of, of tomato in that window and then that plant's going to either die off or it's going to stop producing. And then you're going to think, well, what's happened? It's broke or they sold me a bad plant. No, if it's a determinant, it's only going to give you, it's predetermined in the DNA, in the genetics of that tomato plant, that it was only going to plan on giving you whatever amount of tomatoes that it was going to give you. So a lot of gardeners like to make sure that they choose indeterminate amounts. When you're looking at seed catalogs, there's a ton of different ones that they'll list, and they'll list determinate and indeterminate. In a lot of these catalogs, they have two, three, four pages full of tomatoes. They also have yellow tomatoes, purple tomatoes, mini tomatoes, Roma tomatoes. And so are you going to do canning? Maybe you want to do Roma because you don't like the seeds. And a lot of people think you have to do only canning if you plant Romas or buy in Romas. That's not true. You can use any tomato for salsa. But what are you going to want seeds? Also, some tomatoes have more water content than others and that might affect the recipe that you're using for salsa. So if you're new to canning, maybe you want to go ahead and hit someone up with questions, or if you're having an issue, you can call them or go by their homes and say, hey, what's going on here? So if you're going to purchase seeds, it's going to be the same. On these seed packages, I don't have my glasses on, forgive me. Oh, there it is. Yep, it's all going to be backwards, but look, right there, indeterminate. So, it's somewhere on the seed packages, on this seed package. It is not up at the top. It is, I'm looking, I don't have my glasses on. I should have, I should have highlighted it. Um, anyway, it is going to be more, this one isn't going to be through here. It's somewhere in the wordage here, okay? Um, sometimes it's also on the front, but all seed cattle, all seed packages will have determinate or indeterminate on them as well. So that way, you know, maturity date, they have maturity dates on here. Usually sometimes at the front, on the front, sometimes on the back. Um, that is from the day the plant is a plant and not a seedling. Okay. So if you've just planted them and they've just popped out of the ground, and they're only this big, don't take the maturity date from that. Wait till they have a couple sets of leaves on them and, and then that's your maturity date. So you want to maybe look at the calendar and go, okay, don't 
I don't want all 90 or 100 day maturity dates because now I'm not going to get any tomatoes in the early spring. So a lot of people like to get an early girl variety, plant them. That way you can have your salads early. Maturity dates are 45 days or whatever. And that way, and you'll have a lot of greenhouses and um, hot houses, you know, local grocery stores with tomatoes earlier than that, because some growers locally in your area will actually have hot houses and they're going to, they're going ahead and putting their tomato plants out earlier. Um, my frost date is right around Mother's Day for Indiana and parts of Ohio. So my garden will go in, today is May 2nd, my garden will go in after Mother's Day, which is a week and a half from now. My seeds, I bought these seeds at a local box store. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. Uh, we, I ordered seeds and they didn't get here until last week because with this coronavirus and everybody, new people coming into gardening, which is wonderful. I'm not complaining, but I didn't get my seeds too late. I will make sure I store them properly. I will not put them out in the barn to store them where it's not heat and humidity controlled. It's not gonna be cold. It's not gonna be 125 degrees. It's not gonna be damp one day and extra dry the next. So you say you, you have seed packages, you know you're not gonna to get to use them all. Make sure you pick a place maybe in your home that is gonna have the proper temperatures. I just like to put mine in um, a container with a lid and I put them, uh, usually honestly, I go ahead and put them in my storage closet, either in the hall or it doesn't matter, one of the bedrooms, doesn't matter because at least in the house, you pretty much almost always have your home set at the same comfortable levels. You know, it's not gonna be 125 degrees in the house like it is gonna be in the barn or the garage. So try to think about that. If you've purchased seeds and you're not able to use them all, where are you storing them at? How are you gonna use them? Now, when you go to the big box stores and you buy seed tomato plants, they're also gonna have determinant or indeterminate on there. Um, I do buy, like an early girl variety and then I'll buy like a beef steak or big boy better boy one of those and then sometimes I just buy all Romas it just depends I still do canning with any type of tomato um, if they have a lot of seeds I will just go ahead and strain those seeds I'm not going to get into canning that's a whole different video I just wanted to touch base with determinate and indeterminate and go from there determinate again one more time it's only going to give you X amount of, of tomatoes, and then that's it. It's going to stop producing. Indeterminate means unlimited amount. Now, real quick, that also depends on the grower. What is your soil like? Did you water on a constant level? If you needed to help give extra waterings, what the temperatures do? I usually would tell new people into gardening, write a journal. You want to write maybe what the weather was doing. Was it extra hot? How often maybe did you water? What type of pest did you have? If you have, if you think you have these big worms on your tomatoes, it's easier to go out at night with a black light and like a flashlight and flash a light on your tomato plants. And those big icky worm, the big green ones, will show up easily at, late at night. So maybe that's a hack for you um, that you just do that. Now, are you fussing with other pests? I will do other videos on other pests and watering as we go through the growing season. It's early and I just wanted to kind of touch base. So determine it. You're going to get a preset amount on the genetics and the DNA in that plant. Okay. Indeterminate, that plant may give you unlimited as long as you're doing everything that you need to try to do. So I hope this video helps. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. If you got someone new to gardening, maybe share this video with them. I'm gonna head outside. I actually put a summer top on um, so I don't quite match, but um, earlier I was outside and it was a little breezy, it was a little chilly and it's warming up now still. Uh, so I'll probably end up getting to take this off. So we are gonna go, it's nice outside, it's beautiful. We are gonna go get some yard work done and pick up some sticks and stuff and just get some stuff done. So I hope you guys are well. I hope you're doing fine. 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and make sure you like and subscribe and share. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Be safe.